Typical day at work starts uh, starts at home first of all because uh, that's it's it's all part of the planning. So basically, uh, early rise, uh, making sure my daughter's uh, taken care of since my uh, girlfriend starts work at the restaurant before I do. And then uh, swing by the market, pick up the last items that we would need for lunch or. Uh, or whether uh, it's lunch or even the dinner service. No, they open at 10. This is, what is this? No, they're not here. They're not opening. Ah. We do up to good Thursdays, good Fridays now. We do up to 40, 38, 40, which is, uh, it's a lot of people for a small a small kitchen there. We're like we're just two and two waiters. It's a lot. If you want to take care of everybody and make sure the food's okay, it's it's hard to do more than that. Okay, is it ten o'clock? Yeah. And then it's uh, basically uh, off to the restaurant and uh, mise en place and getting ready to. Uh, for service. First of all, lunch and then uh, dinner. The lunches, uh, unfortunately, uh, will come to an end in, in September. Uh, it was a, it was an experiment. Uh, after a year and a half or so of doing lunches, we realized that our strength really lies into in our dinner services and the business would be better suited at offering more dinner services and dropping, unfortunately, uh, the lunch service. Once lunch service is finished around 2 o'clock, uh, it's a quick cleanup, making sure uh, we're ready to start mise en place again. We have a little, we have a little break, which we call uh, the staff meal, which is around 5 o'clock, which everybody has about a half an hour to just relax. Everybody has a bite to eat, and then uh, we organize the dining room, organize our, our sections in the kitchen to be ready for the 6 o'clock customers. Well, the high point of a service is uh, not necessarily what cooks will refer to as being in the weeds or the juice, or it's not something I particularly enjoy. But it's it's more it's more the flow of a nice service. It's it's the orders coming in, the plates being plated at a right pace, uh, plates coming back empty, people looking at people that have the chance to see the customers through the open kitchen. You see the smiles. You see the people enjoying their food. That's part of it. I mean, if, if you don't see, if you can, if you can't tell someone is enjoying themselves just by watching them, I think you have missed a little bit of, of what you were trying to achieve. Because it, you should, you should know that people are enjoying their food without having them to get up from their chair and come to tell you face to face. A good day's work is always satisfying. I think anybody in any trade or any type of job will, will tell you that. I mean, if you've had a good day at work. It's always satisfying if the product that you've put out is what you expected and what you wanted. But there's also a, the, 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 the tiredness comes into effect also. I'm happy to be going home at night.